That's the first little brown of the, of the session. It's just on five past eight when I've hit the river. A little bit late today, but it's pretty overcast at the moment. Hopefully you'll hang around for a while. And that was just taken on the uh, Agnia Mooch Noir there with the black blade, just above the trout's head there. I was just keeping him in the water and I'm going to let him go in a tick. But, uh, that was the uh, third cast of that uh, opposite river bank there and uh, he uh, no sooner hit the water and he snapped it up so it's good. Now so let's hope they um, may get a few more today. Oh, I've just got on another old brown here. It's, uh, cast him, got him off that other river bank and he's uh, just tying him out a little bit. He's only just uh, taking the bottom, bottom hook of the lure. There we go. Oh, get him in the net and uh, put him back in the drink. Oh, it's another little fella. Just, uh, uh, only small, I fight like crazy in this fast water and this fast to run. Just to cut on the back of the. Yeah, he's only just lit too. He'll, he'll probably jump off in a tick. And, uh, I just uh, got him, drew him out of that log, little bit of flat water by that log over there. So, yeah, it's a good, good start so far. Three trout already. So it's, uh, it's improved. And I've had a, hit, a couple of hit and misses, so it's been good. There's still plenty of water ahead. Oh, I just picked up another one. This time I got him off. The, off that river bank there. Yeah. Not, like, I, like I said, they're not they're not big fish, but uh, yeah, they're good good little fighting fish. Great little wild river browns. Uh, and another fish there, he's out in the middle here. There he is. It's a well look too, it's not a big not a real big brown. Another about the same size I've been getting all morning. He was taking uh, his other cross from that, uh, those willows there, just cast and drift with the Rapala and uh, yeah, had a couple of whacks at it before he took it. Yeah. Number five. Another one there, he tied himself up in knots with it. <laughs> there was a cast just up there behind that rock, right up against it, near the bank. and this. Uh, I always catch a trout there. Every time I've been here, I always pick a trout up out of there. So, uh, yeah, I've got another one there again today. I've uh, just laid in another little brown bit further up the river in now. Got out and headed upstream a bit further. Just uh, cast to that opposite river bank. It's a beautiful bit of flow running along the opposite river bank. And uh, had a couple of casts into this pool. And they picked up another little brown. So we'll get him in and put him back in the water. He hasn't give <laughs> he's a little tucker, he hasn't given up, he's still <laughs> he's still putting up a fight, I tell you. There he is, we'll get him in now. I think he's had enough. No, I've just gone back to the um, Take a mooch noir in this little stretch of narrow fast water stretch of river and I've just uh, picked up a little rainbow in here which is nice to see. And I just lost, hooked and lost a, deep, a reasonable brown around about 350, six, 350 to 400 grams on it as well. So we'll stick to this one for a little while now. We'll get this little little tacker off and let him go. Right, I'm just about finished now. I've, um, as far as you can see down that stretch of river, I've fished the whole way up there and all I've had was um, a couple of follows. The only trout I've seen. I thought the further I got up here the better it might have fished because there's some beautiful water ahead. Um, so I'm just going to fish this last stretch up here over and past the rocks up there and around the corner of that and then I'll be calling it a day. So um, yeah, let's hope we can get at least one more before we before we get out of oh, here. Right out the car. Now I've just got a half a kilometre or so walk 
Back through all this rubbish here makes it worse. It's uh, once you get through this bit of grass, the next lot here, majority of it, probably about 80% of it's uh, all thistles. Um, yeah, not a nice walk at all this time of year. Right, I just go back in the car. I was in the river. It was five to eight, five past eight. I had the first fish on. Um, it's now 20 to 1, so it's been a long, been a pretty long session. Went well to start with, they had um, half a dozen trout in no time, and it was all looking good, yeah. Then I uh, got another brown, um, lost, a ra lost a brown, then caught a rainbow, so uh, yeah, so, and then, so that gave me uh, what, six, seven, eight, eight trout, and uh, I was only halfway into the session. And then that was the last fish, not a, not another fish after that. And I fished on for another kilometre or more. And um, yeah, for just one lousy trout when I went across back over the river again, I thought, oh, well, I'll flick up here and flick it out and first cast, bang, got one. The best fish of the day, it's on 400 grams. So nine, nine trout all up. I, when I did the recording, I thought it was the eighth, but when I went through it, it was, um, yeah, eight browns and one rainbow. Unmixed on... Aglia, Aglia um, Mooch Noyer did the job on the on the browns and rainbows, and and had to get had to start, sadly had to use hard bodies to get the others. But that's the, that's trout fishing. And that's just the way the day went. And it, sun's out now, full full sun on the water, it's um, really shut them down. So, but I was I was happy the other day went one of my better ones for a change. So, for next time, tight lines. <laughs> <laughs>